Okay, today I'm going to give you the full story about the Fourth Amendment uh, to the Constitution, which provides American citizens protection against unwarranted searches and seizures. Now, this badge should not, absolutely should not, make me have a superior advantage over you when it comes to dealing with the police and staying out of jail. It's unfair that everything in this country is governed by law from the time that you're born to the time that you die. And virtually nowhere can you find anybody or any place that's going to teach you what you need to know. So that's the purpose of these videos, to try to help you in understanding what the law says versus what you think, because acting properly is critical. Now, many people have a question about whether or not the police can stop you and search your vehicle without permission. Now, I gave you a few uh, videos recently with some examples, but I want to give you the whole story because I didn't include the whole story. So I'm going to I'm going to go through this real quickly, and uh, this is your protection according to the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution, the Bureau of Justice. A recent study says that out of 19.3 million traffic stops, 1.3 million motorists were searched. 90% yielded no incriminating evidence. That's a tremendous number of people that are stopped with nothing to show for it on the part of the police. Now, first thing I want you to know is, your question comes, when can your vehicle be searched? A, first, a police officer with a warrant must be allowed to search uh, your home and your property and vehicles. That's the thing you must understand. If he has a warrant, he has the right, it's signed by a judge, it's the, the authority now is coming from the courts, he has the right to search your house or your property. But I want to talk to about unwarranted searches and seizures. Now remember to obtain a warrant that that officer uh, must go before a judge. And uh, the judge is going to be looking for probable, probable cause to issue that warrant or just cause. Something that can validate the fact that the officer had the reason to stop you. Uh, and we'll talk about the fruit of the poisonous tree later. Now, I want to uh, give you a few examples here, five things I want you to know. One is uh, consent search. If you voluntarily consent to an officer to search your vehicle, then he can do so, and anything that he finds in that vehicle, he can, uh, he can detain, he can keep, and he can also use that as evidence against you. That's if you verbal and confiscate it, and that's if you verbally have consented to the search. Number two, plain view rule. Now, I mentioned this the other day, so I wanted to include this so you have the whole story. If you're stopped for a traffic violation uh, and an illegal substance or something illegal like drugs or whatever is found, that they can see it in plain view. The officer does not need a search warrant, and he does not need your permission in order to confiscate that and to uh, actually use it against you if it's in plain view. Third thing, we know that a search incident to an arrest uh, and an inventory search, those things are automatic if you are arrested, your vehicle can be searched, and I'm sure most of you understand that. The fourth thing, uh, exigent circumstances, that means anything, anytime an officer feels that a swift action is necessary to prevent, or if he believes, not feels, if he believes that a swift action is necessary to prevent imminent danger to life or serious or, or, or property, or if the officer believes uh, that the evidence is about to be destroyed in, in something that you have uh, illegally possessed or whatever that is a crime, then according to exigent circumstances, he can then search your vehicle. And finally, probable cause. If an officer believes or has a reason to believe that a crime has been committed, meaning he sees a bag of money or maybe it's somewhere tied over duct tape on the back seat of your car, he then has the right to search. Five things that uh, unwarranted searches um, uh, in the unwarranted search category are consent searches, plain the plain view rule, uh, searches incident to an arrest, exigent circumstances, and also probable cause. Okay, I hope you understand that clearly now, and I hope you make the right choices.